Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this, a pentagonal lamina having edges 25mm is placed on one of its corners on VP such that the surface makes an angle 30 degree with VP and perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Draw the top and front views in the or draw the top and front views of the lamina. <coughs> now, according to the given question, so one has to construct a pentagon of size 25 mm uh, resting on co uh, corners on VP, and also the surface is inclined at 30 degree to VP, and a perpendicular bisector is inclined at uh, 45 degree to HP. So one has to construct the apparent angle alpha for this problem. Now, according to the given question, so let us start the solution, go to the applications, macros, run macro and search for inside polygon which is available in the, the path which is shown here that is uh, Windows, C program and program files, sorry it is V19, custom, inside polygon, bin and again select the inside polygon, open it, then select the third option, set the uh, length of the line is 25 millimeter and the number of sides are 5 apply relationships and click on the sheet anywhere so that the, the pentagon is going to be appeared and the pentagon is supposed to be a corner resting so select rotate command and select this edge and make it as vertical so that it will become a corner resting and since the lamina is in VP so we will move this lamina towards VP. Then make use of a line command with respect to a thickness of 0.13 millimeter. One has to complete the projectors from the front view of each and every corner to draw the top view till the XY line. And after marking these things, again changing the line thickness to 0.5 millimeter, one has to draw the top view in the form of a split lines like this to draw the projectors in the next stages easily. Uh, then make use of uh, the smart dimension command and show that the dimensions of uh, pentagon is uh, 25 millimeter then using the text command name the corners now this will be named as a dash and b dash and this is going to be the c dash and this is going to be the d dash and finally this will become a dash accordingly the top view has to be named this is going to be named as a and then b as well as e then c and d and after marking these things as per the given conditions one can say that the stage one is completed now for the second stage uh, we have to construct this uh, lamina in such a way that inclined at vp 30 degree now uh, the perpendicular bisector is also necessary so one can go to a line command and construct a perpendicular bisector so according to this the perpendicular bisector here it is going to be the m dash and in the top view it is going to be m so after marking these things uh, then select this uh, top view then go to a command called as uh, move move with respect to corner a and reposition the corner a anywhere on the <coughs> xy line then make use of rotate command select a as fixed point and c and d as rotating point whose inclination is supposed to be 30 degree and then make use of angle between command show that the angle between these two lines are supposed to be 30 degree and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 millimeter starting with the right extreme corner c and d so connect c to c along with C we have uh, D and M so we shall project the uh, projectors for uh, D as well as M and then uh, the next one is B and E so now let us go to the endpoint symbol connect B dash to B dash and then along with B we have E so let us project E also then A will be projected up to this line and then uh, make use of 
the text command name the respective corners as a dash and b dash this is going to be c dash this is going to be d dash and this is going to be e dash and this point is going to be marked as m dash then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter join the line a dash to b dash b dash to c dash d dash e dash and back to a dash now the perpendicular bisector is inclined 30 45 degree to hp uh, which is a true angle but we are getting an apparent line so make use of a smart dimensions or distance between whatever is required then measure the uh, true length in the first stage and the apparent length in the second stage the apparent length measures 33.32 and true length measures 38.47 then make use of a line command construct the true angle first now for constructing a true angle one has to draw the inclined line and this inclined line is supposed to be a 45 degree as per the given condition so the true angle has been constructed then we'll go for a point command with the thickness of 2 millimeter one has to uh, construct a reference point then this reference point is going to be marked as m dash and accordingly go to arc by center point command with thickness of 0.13 mm whatever the point we have created on the 45 degree line that should be supposed to be the center and the radius must be taken as 38.47 millimeter and one has to draw an arc like this and after drawing an arc make use of a line command <coughs> draw a constructional line that is nothing but the locus of a line then once again go to arc by center point command and select the same point whichever we have located earlier as a center point that is the m dash there and then the radius must be set for 33.32 millimeter and then one can draw one more arc over here and then make use of a line command with respect to a thickness of 0.13 millimeter one can construct the <coughs> apparent angle here now the angle of this line is supposed to be measured using the angle between command and which is measuring as 55 degree that is angle alpha as 55 degree now after which one has to select the front view completely then make use of move command move in such a way that the a dash is supposed to be positioned over here that is the end point of r correct the line with respect to the apparent angle and then make use of a rotate command and a dash is supposed to be there and m dash has to be rotated to the m dash point which we have marked earlier and once it is done the uh, rotation is going to be completed according to the apparent angle then make use of a line command with respect to 0.13 mm thing one can complete the top view by drawing the projectors from the top and front views now c is not supposed to be uh, started at the required point so let us retake that point and c is connected to c and along with c we have d and uh, m so we shall project for the d as well as m and then we have b b is at this location and so let us mark b to b and along with b we have e so let us project e and then the remaining will be a and yeah i am getting the intersection symbol whose angle is showing as 92 so lock the angle to 90 degrees so that we will be able to draw the vertical projectors then make use of the text command and name the respective corners this will be a and this point is going to be the b and this is going to be c and this is going to be D and this is going to be uh, sorry uh, this point is D and this point is E and using the text command M has to be marked here then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter now join A to B and B to C C to D 
d to e and back to a now this completes the given question and this is the required solution as per the given conditions and if anybody is having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do share this video to maximum number of first year engineering students and thanks for watching my videos thank you guys thank you once again